Welcome to the Veterans Gaming Podcast. This is Kevin, and this is going to be episode 21 of my Football Manager 24, Oldham Athletic Career Mode. Things are looking, man, things are looking good. Let me show you real quick. Right now, since our lost, since our tie against Gateshead in uh, just on December 23rd, Look at this, one, two, three, four. We lost one, two, three, four, five, six. We've won 10 out of our last 11 games. So we are cooking and uh, we had we were in trouble as far as not getting promoted. Now we're sitting in fourth and we've got a healthy lead in fourth place with 12 matches to go. So let's go out and uh, take care of this uh, game against South End. South End beat us uh, op the opening day of the season. Let's uh let's go back. They beat us uh three to two, a game we probably should have won. So let's go out here and settle the score with them. Uh, but before that, let's uh look at this. After featuring in the last match, Zach Emerson. Uh, okay, I don't know who. If trigger Zach uh, Blackman. Okay, I guess he's on loan at uh. Uh, he's a striker. I have no idea who this kid is. I guess he's at the uh, Blackpool under twenty one. Don't know him. All right, here we go. A display of attacking football saw Mark Shelton, our midfielder, pick up player of the match following Oldham's 3-1 win over Kidderminster. The defensive midfielder bagged the best goal of the game late on to round off his performance by scoring a well-struck effort, which found the back of the net. All right. 32 tackles. He's completed 87% of his passes in 26 appearances. Mark Shelton. Uh, 27 years old. Hey, this this young man, he could still could still get better. He's by no means a a superstar or anything like that. But man, he is he's absolutely making it happen as a as a central midfielder. So props to him. Okay, the best viewing out of the entire schedule for uh, this uh, match day was uh, to be found at Boundary Park, where a crowd of 6,141 witnessed Oldham's 3-1 win over Kidderminster. The highlight of the game was undoubtedly Oldham's Alex Reed scoring his 10th goal of the season. Following Oldham's 3-1 Vanarama National League win over Kidderminster, Ramos Asada currently fourth in the Maramana Vanarama National with 64 points from 36 matches. Oldham saw their worst form of the campaign arrive early, but will now hope to remain on course to achieve their aims for the campaign, which is the playoffs. All right, player of the week, uh, Armando Dobra for Chesterfield, who are sitting uh, a bit above us. All right, <clears throat> let's continue. And uh, we've got the match against Southend, and that's going to be a week away. So a uh, good time to get everybody rested because we've had a very busy fixture congestion. All right, the Kidder Minister shuttle chose the main focus point for the press conference with Lucas Grish asking, would you like to keep Andrew Dallas at Oldham permanently? We'd love for that to happen, and I'm sure there'll be movement on that at the right time. Yeah, he's absolutely do, doing great. Uh, let's see. Barnsley head coach Neil Collins has been responding to the media in the wake of recent questions. Uh, okay, here we go. How do you respond to Kevin Ramos' interest? I have a ton of respect for Kevin, but Andrew is not for sale. Mm, let's see. That's uh, Neil Collins. Uh, we'll we'll see about that come the off season, but let's worry about getting promoted. All right, so let's get through this uh this week of preparation. Just one email, uh, just the training schedule to prepare for South End. Okay, there's been no improvement as far as uh, Will Sutton. Uh, 21 years old, exciting prospect who isn't far from first team, so we could see, but good heading. Uh, good, Very good tackling as well. Uh, phenomenal teamwork. Uh, good strength, good stamina, jumping reach. All right, so he could be on the up and up maybe for next season. Let's go to the weekly staff meeting. Okay, uh, Josh Lundstrom could do with individual strength training to improve some minor uh, strength and jumping weaknesses. Let's do that. Daniel Ephraim really struggles with corner taking and technique. 
And so an individual corner taking training program would be helpful to try to improve things, especially as he's a designated set piece taker. Let's do that. Oliver Hammond seems to be a little annoyed about the individual training given to him not being suitable. We should try to address that, okay? Who is this guy anyway? Okay, he's not far from the first team. He's got some very good, good mental attributes and physical as well. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's move on. I've noticed a change in support from the management team. You've been at the club a long time and the squad are very strongly behind you. Assassin's Richard O'Kelly. The squad as a whole are very happy to throw their strength and support behind you in no small measure because of the long time. Well, I've only been there less than a year, but that's fine. Let's move on. I believe Joe Nuttall's ability has diminished over the last six months and has seen him go from being a good Van Arama national striker to only a decent one, all right? Sean Hobson has improved a lot in the last six months and should be thought of as a good Sky Bet League to perform. Good. Jesse Wong's lack of progress over the last six months has, has been concerning, and he might not only have the potential to become a Van Arama national player. All right, let's end the meeting. Right here, as always, nothing but positive stuff comes out of it. All right, uh, Mark Kitching is injured. It's tight calf during a sprint session, but it's only going to be one or two days, so nothing to really worry about there. He'll be ready for the match against South End. Let's see what we got here. Uh, scouting update. Oh, I'm not interested in this dude. Nothing on recruitment focus. Oldham players. Okay, we've got two of them. We've got Raglan, the captain, and uh, Mark Shelton, deservedly so. Uh, just a few injury problems. Uh, James Norwood is uh, getting set to come back in a little bit, and so is Collins Kagame. Okay, good. These are the ones that are high risk right now. Okay, and uh, uh, let's see. While long-term exposure to an increased injury risk is not recommended, a heavy workload in the short term could see increased benefits to individual and team development. Okay. Player targets. Okay, that whole thing with Devon Green. So he's good to go. Uh, let's see. Barnett B. Bromley, Halifax, and Borham Woodtide. Uh, Gates. Gate shed really beat up on Aldershot. York edges out Kidderminster. Maidenhead and Dorking tied. So it's not looking good for it's really not. I think Dorking is pretty much done as far as their season goes. Okay, we've got the next match in three days. Let's look at our emails. Okay, so it looks like uh York and Kidderminster had a really, really good match there. Player of the week is going to be Will Davies for York, who scored two goals. And let's continue. Okay. Nothing to see here. Uh, these are just the uh, schedule for the FA Cup. Just coming to an end. Arsenal's going to play Man City. Aston Villa against Man United. That's part of the schedule. Uh, okay, looks like Arsenal won, Aston Villa won. Uh, I think Bright might have advanced on penalties. Southampton beat Tottenham an extra time. Rotterdam advanced. What a story they've been. Nottingham Forest advanced as well. All right. Okay, so we're getting close here to this match against South End. Let's try to make it seven in a row. South End uh, scouting report. Again, they beat us the first match of the season. Uh, Jack Bridge is doing well in the creative role. A lot of dribbling for 90 minutes. Gus Scott Morris is defending, is performing well above average in key statistics as far as defending goes. They're pressing, they have a lot of pressing intensity. Okay, so high number of opposition passes for defensive action. Okay. 
Uh, they attempt a lot of their passes in the middle of the pitch. Okay. So for match preparation, we're going to focus on how they react immediately after the turnovers. We're going to assess vulnerabilities when they are defending free kicks and focus on their main strategies from attacking corners. All right. Okay, who is this? A C's. <laughs> Look at that drawing. Okay, so he's a maiden head. Oh, six foot four. You know what? No knowledge of him, but let's scout him enough. See if he's worth uh, trying to get. Okay, here's the uh, the uh, team selection advice. You know, I'm going with Langley the rest of the season. Hey, Satchdev has been doing good at right back, so I'm gonna keep keep him there. Okay, Tom Conley. You know this. This lineup really doesn't look that bad, so I might just keep that. Okay, all of them have been touted as comfortable favorites, but we'll have to be worried about complacency when taking on South End. No, no question about that. South End have been playing far beyond expectations all season, find themselves in 14. And you know what? They had they were deducted 10 points before the beginning of the season due to financial mismanagement. So gotta give them their props. Okay, uh, Oldham Athletics prepares to face his former club. Okay, the central defender work with Maher, all right. So I'm definitely going to start Sean Hobson. Pre-match press conference, it's a home game, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's go. It was a while ago, but Oldham actually suffered defeat the last time they played South End. Will that have any bearing ahead of this game? Let's see. These things are always funny, aren't they? Uh, nah. There'll be some element of doubt. No, I don't think so. We're professional enough to approach this man in the same way as any other match. Southend have been playing far beyond expectation. Can Southend take something from Saturday's game at Boundary Park? Uh, they're a very good team. They have two good players, so it'll be a hard match. Kevin Maher is winning a lot of plaudits for what many perceive to be his overachievement with Southend United this season. Given their limited resources and finances, do you agree with the performing at an unexpectedly high level at the moment. Uh, Kevin is doing a wonderful job in very difficult conditions at South End United, especially given the financial restrictions of the club. He deserves a lot of credit because I don't think anyone could have predicted how well he did. Fair enough. Are you perhaps being a little patronizing towards South End? Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to answer that. How much of a role has Harry Cardwell played in South End's Sen? Uh, hey, I'm here to talk about my team. As one of Oldham's key players, will you be restoring James Norwood straight back into the team when he returns from injury? Uh, we want him back, but this is the time to be patient. If we rush things, we could end up regretting it. <clears throat> How important has the strong team spirit at Oldham been to picking up for? The club is a really fun place to be right now, and the atmosphere gives us all the confidence to do our jobs. Will Ben Tyler be decisive today? Uh, he's a player we can rely on in these kinds of games. Uh, do you have any opinion of Kevin Meyer's commitment to playing possession soccer? Uh, I try to focus more on the way my team plays and the opposition will concentrate on our own game, and hopefully we can get a positive result regardless of uh, Kevin's style. Are you perhaps being a little inflexible and stubborn in your refusal to adapt to tactics? Not at all. I don't really see any value in publicly disclosing any of my tactical decisions before the match. Okay. Summary it up. It went just fine. The, the media's got great respect for me, so that's good. Okay, let's go. Uh, I think, yeah, he, I think he is doing a wonderful job considering uh, they were deducted 10 points. All right, um, let's see the under 18 stuff, available players. We had stronger momentum when looking at the match overall. Okay. Uh, Charlie Wright was performing well above in key statistics. We're performing well above average in defensive stats. Okay. Very important dates in March. We've got the South End, then we've got Aldershot. And then Halifax, then, oh, that's the big one right there. Uh, Chesterfield on the 16th. 
we'll be hosting them. Okay, uh, Ameka Obi has a pulled hamstring, so he'll be out two to four weeks, unfortunately. Okay, that sucks. <clears throat> okay, look at this in the last month. Uh, B, job security secure to Summers. The board are very pleased with your overall leadership of the team. Uh, breakdown, C+, plus, club vision and culture. The board are pleased with the progress made towards realizing the club's vision. C plus in matches. The board are pleased with the mat team's mat recent results. Uh, C plus for transfers. The board are pleased with your performance in the transfer market. Tactics C plus happy with the way the impact wing play style has had, but they're concerned by the number of goals conceded. Squad A. The board could not be happier with your strong support and backing from the players. Most important thing. Uh, they're disappointed with the finances with the sale of Mike Fondop, and they're disappointed about that loss a long time ago. Uh, but they're pleased about the support in the squad and the atmosphere in the locker room. Uh, B minus from the supporters. Uh, the fans are satisfied that so many players are in good form. The fans are happy with the formation. Uh, okay, pretty much everything the same except uh, the sale of Freeman. And Talat's recent performance is Magnus Norman. He's pretty much on the bench. Uh, and please, with the departure of Dan Gardner. Okay. Squad dynamics. Okay, you see who the influential players are. All right. <clears throat> Training week in review. Dan Langley, the keeper. He's starting. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, Langley displayed positive body language throughout the conversation. The apparent positive body language at the end of the conversations teams have been reflected in his overall morale. Okay. Fantastic. So he'll be he'll be starting. Thank you for watching the Veterans Gaming Podcast. This is episode 21 of my Oldham Athletic Career Mode, playing football manager 24. Uh, if you want to follow me on uh, X, you can do so. My link is at smoothop75 on uh, Instagram, not Instagram, excuse me, on a Twitch and YouTube, Veterans Gaming Podcast. That's You'll type that all in lowercase. And if you want to donate to my show, uh, my cash app is dollar sign Veterans Gaming 24. All right, let's go. Uh, Borum, Borum versus Gateshed. Let's see. Uh, Borum Wood sitting in 10th, Gateshead fitting in, finishing in 8th, currently in 8th, excuse me. Let's go. Now, expectations for or to win from the board and the supporters. Withers, Sparkles. So who is this Withers guy? Okay, Connor Withers. Right here with two goals. Decent young prospect. Okay, so he might be someone we'd be looking out for in the future. Daniel Ephraim, right side of midfielder. Again, a decent young prospect as well. Okay, Mark Kitching is good to go. Uh, the rest of them, they just kind of need to be monitored. All right. Let's go, tactical meeting. Okay, it's always important to trigger a press when the ball is played to Harry Taylor. Uh, Harry Taylor right here, uh, the defensive midfielder. Let's we got a Tyler Card, Harry Caldwell, and uh, Henry Sandot as well. So let's do that. Let's go to team selection. Okay, Langley. I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep Sachev. Sachev is do is doing good. Okay, Conlon is gonna start as well. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. I'm going to sit Glover down. I'm going to put Devon Green in. Hogan. No, 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 no. Hogan, not Hogan. Uh, let's see. we got to put the captain in. Uh, 
Now, where is that? There's a kid chain. I want to be consistent, so Lundstrom. Lundstrom's going to sit down for Sharon. Okay. Okay, I'm liking this. Where is. Now Dickinson. Sit him down and put Kitchen in. Okay. Good. This back four, this back five is doing good. So let's keep them there. Kill the Baron. Oh, I got to get Ryan Spencer in there. So. Okay, let's, uh, dang, I'm going to have to sit Sharon down. Oh, man, this is a tough one. Yeah, I'm going to sit Sharon down for, for Spencer. Okay, because they're, they're, I got to look at the ratings too. Kagame's hurt. Oh, Andrew Dallas. Okay, so Walker goes sit. Dallas. Nah, I'm going to start him. I had a read. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Okay, everybody's looking roused and bolded and happy. Let's go get to number. Let's go get uh, our seventh win in a row here. Not a fan of starting Raglan. Raglan is in a good mood. Looks like he needs business. All right. You know, pick up where you left off. All right, let's go. Satchdev is coming through as a the right back so far. Okay, Southend have been struggling. So let's let's go. Pitching to Talit. Okay, he loses it. <clears throat> oh, such they've already got a yellow card. Okay, corner. Let's make it one nothing here. Shelton. Talit. Oh, such they've almost scores there. That would have been good for him. Okay, I'm in D to Ralph. Let's go. Inwood. Taylor to Miley. To Coker. Drew. Kitching. There. Raglan. Back to Kitching. Bad pass by Kitching. Okay. Santa. Oh, Cardwell. Oh, that was on Kitching. South End United lead one nothing. No. Okay, corner. Oh, almost tied it. 
All right, another corner. Come on, let's get a let's get fired up here. Let's go. Shelton. Bro, you have ooh, good job, Sasha. Good pass by Shelton. He had four players in front of him. All right, Devon Green. Hasn't featured much. But he crosses. Good cross. It's holler. All right. Goal kick. Ralph, Rollison, oh, such if you missed the tackle there, cross, okay, Langley, good job by South End, man, they're playing good, let's go, Inwood, Spencer, Green, good, such Dev, Hobson, Shelton, such dev. Pass it to Green, dude. Okay, we got to get out of our half of the pitch. Hobson. There we go. That's what we need. Oh, nice pass to Devon Green. Kitching. Shoot, and he, Mark Kitching ties it. It's been Kitching to Green for much of the season, but this time around, Devon Green gets the assist and Mark Kitching ties the game. No one there, get blows by the defender and with the left foot, we are tied at one. Okay, let's go. Okay, 33 minutes into the first half. Sachdev, Dallas. Such dev. Shelton. Okay, back to Hobson. Okay, we're playing more to the right side of the pitch right now. Devon Green to Hobson. Okay, come on, get up that pitch. To Kitching. 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 Cross it, cross it. Talit. To Shelton, and it's two to one. All right, nice job, Ben Tollett, too. And just like that, what in less than 10 minutes, Oldham is up two to one. Kitching, who is at blame for the goal that we gave up, but now he's come back. Tollett to Shelton, and Shelton doesn't even hesitate. He had a nice go there. It's, it's two to one. Okay, we're getting close to halftime here. Okay, Spencer is showing a yellow. Okay, let's go. We're almost at our halftime here. <clears throat> Drew Cardwell. Uh oh. Okay, nice save by Langley. Corner. We're at, okay, we're in good shape. We're in good shape at halftime. Okay, let's go. Andrew Dallas. Come on. Need to make a difference here. Let's start the second half. <clears throat> Taylor. To Coker, Rollinson. Demand more here. Drew, good job, good job. Let's go. Again, this is, uh, let's see, somebody picked up an injury. Okay, Talit is hurt. Okay, so let's bring in Brennan Dickinson. Let's give him a pep talk. 
He's making impacts. He's composed. Let's go. We're heading into the 60th minute. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> okay, substitution for. Okay, 20 minutes left. Rollinson, Taylor, Drew, Waldron. Oh, nice job catching. Drew, corner. Whew. All right, it's a free kick. Let's uh, hit early crosses. Let's go. Bridge to Taylor. Waldron. Taylor. Araoye. Taylor. Coker. Oof. Brilliant stuff there. Okay, it's a corner. I'm a, I need to protect such though. Corner for South End. Bridge. Oh, good move there. Yep. Good move. Terrible defending. This is the same thing that happened the first time. We were up two to one. Defense fell asleep there. Yes. Let's get fired up here. Let's try to win this. Drew. Taylor. Ooh, good save by Langley. All right. Bridge. Another corner. Devon Green gets it out. Okay. Well, that's a terrible shot. East League destroying Solihull Muirs. Who would have ever thought? Dude, come on. Let's go. Let's, let's attack. Conlon with a free kick. Okay. That's a corner. Okay. Close to the end of this match. Let's go. Conlon, the corner. No. Okay, wow, nine minutes of stoppage time. Jeez. No. No. Aldrin. Drew. Okay, Conlon, yes, go. Dickinson, yes. Oh, no. Bridge. Coker, no. Waldron. Oof. Oof. We almost lost there. Okay, we still got some time, don't we? Oh, good lord. Another corner. Okay. Dallas. Oh, man. Coker there. Rawlinson. Kitching Dickinson. Conlon. Got less than a minute. No, shit. Okay, that's out. Okay, that's it. That was a good match.
okay, our winning streak is over. Uh, Shelton was the man of the match. Yeah, wasn't good enough. We should have won that match. Cut and dry. Let's continue. I think we dropped to six now. That's correct. We dropped to six. But we're still 10 points clear of, of uh, Borham with seven points clear of Woking. That almost feels like a defeat, not a great result. Give credit to South End. Okay. All right, we're eight behind Chesterfield. Salaho Muir's, what happened? They got destroyed by East League. Wow. All right, let's get ready for Aldershot. Okay. Hold them up, drop one place to sixth. Rochdale climbs above us. Ventalit sprained ankle four to five weeks. see okay we got fined for uh getting having six yellow cards we're out of control huh borum would absolutely manhandle the gay shed player of the week gonna be george nunn for east league no reaction let's go a poor result for you i'm sure you already know that watch they'll have one today how significant could today become at the end of the season? I'm not disheartened. We have plenty of opportunities to rectify things as they're go they're going to drop points too. The referee had much work today. With your side picking up several cards, does that ever prevent aggression worry you? It shows they were giving all they could, which is fine by me. Have you put together a deeply impressive you you have put together a deeply impressive unbeaten sequence with Oldham? For how long do you envision it can go? If we could see the future. Life will be boring. I don't believe in determinism. We will decide our own faith. fate. Experts are suggesting that the players will suffer from overconfidence, though. Do you fear that could be a problem? Confidence is always a good thing, and it's very apparent that each member of my squad, they are playing better because they are confident, in every, and every time we win, they become stronger. Many fans just voiced their pleasure that Andrew Dallas wasn't substituted. Can you explain the decision to leave him on? He was part of the team performance, and that's the most important thing. Harry Caldwell, I don't want to comment on individual performances. Oldham face a fine for failing to control their players after picking up six yellows. Do you think referee Robert Wynn was to blame in any way? Now I want to talk about that. Ben Tala injured himself in the match today and looked serious. How long he might be out? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. How will that affect your plans going forward? Losing Ben is a bitter blow. It is. He's a good player. Summary. I think there's a slightly positive reaction to the press conference. All right. Let's go. We've got Aldershot in two days. I'm not worried about overconfidence. Let's continue. Okay. Aldershot, they are sitting in 20th. But we're not going to underestimate them. We should be happy with that outcome. We didn't play well, but we managed to earn a draw. Okay, Furuki, he has improved in the last few months. Nozomi Furuki, a six foot striker, but he's still way off first team level. Okay, preparation is we'll study how they react immediately after turnovers. Study the defensive setup at corners to identify vulnerabilities and prepare for how the opposition like to set up from attacking free kick situations. Okay, here we go. Team advice selection. Langley's going to go in and play anyway. Uh, Ten changes. I don't know about Satch Dev at the back. So let's use this suggested squad, though. Uh, Aldershot are slight underdogs. That's what that says there. Uh, John Sheridan revealed that confidence is high at Oldham and that he was delighted to see his former team playing well. 
Uh, he said that he felt that head coach Kevin Ramos is the perfect fit for Oldham and was looking forward to seeing the club continue the recent run of good form against Aldershot Town. Aldershot Town, excuse me. The opposition report, Ali Scott is performing above average in statistics for his defensive role. Let's see, they're crossing. Uh, they're crossing isn't all that great. Uh, defensive efficiency. It's hard to tell there. Okay. Dan Langley, yeah, he has progressed amazingly. Oh, Will Sutton stays back at all time. Let's go to staff meeting. Uh, his positioning training isn't yielding results. Uh, doesn't appear to be. Okay, let's stop that too. <clears throat> Will Sutton game would improve if he was encouraged to play a simple passing game and his distribution in general isn't the strongest. Okay, for he's not playing much anyway. Ryan Glover are uh, playing very well. We should play a close attention to his development as a winger. I may start him as winger next match. Close attention to he's been training well. He's making uh good progress. This uh, young man, Sai Sachda. But like I said, I'm not convinced at five eight as a center back. No, Samti Chukwuko. He's still way off first team level. James Norwood ability has diminished. So instead of being a Skybet League 2 player, now he's a decent Skybet League 2 player. And uh, let's see. Once a leading left wing back, he's now decent. Brennan Dickinson. Uh, Kata Moore has the potential to become a quality player and surpass the ability of a uh, Brian Dickinson, Mark Shelton has been playing well. Yeah, no, no question. Okay, Kagame has been out two weeks, but now he's going to resume full training. No, I'm liking that. Let's praise his recent form. Here we go. Got lots to play for. I'm so happy to contribute. Thanks, boss. All right, good for Shelton. Okay. Pre-match press conference, it's an away game, so the assistant will take care of that. Okay, let's see. Uh, Liverpool leads Man City in the Premier League, but Man City's got two games in hand. All right. Uh, Braben is talking about the defeat against Oxford City for them. Aldershot, uh, Lucas Chucky, he's 35 years old. 34, excuse me. No recruitment focus ain't not changed. Okay, it's match day. Targets. You know what that's about. You're the people on loan. Fitness tests. Kitching not quite there, and neither is Kagame. Okay, let's see these changes here. Uh, let's see, I recommend that for our upcoming match, we play with a balanced mentality, all right? Triggering a press against uh, Stuart O'Keefe. Where is Stuart O'Keefe? Right there, the defensive midfielder. Let's trigger that press. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to put Glover. Where is that? Where the heck is Hallam Hope at? Mm, okay. Okay, Hallam Hope is on the bench. Still with Hope. Uh, Langley. He's pretty much the other speed starter at this point.
Kagami won't play the full game, so let's... So where's Conley? Put him there. Ah, oh, shit, Devon Green. Okay, Mark Kitching is not going to be fit. But before we do that, get Hogan out of there. Just put Hobson and, of course, the captain, Raglan. Okay, we'll, put, we'll keep sure on there. See, catching that there. Start catching. Start Kadami. I think we'll go with this. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, everybody looks happy except uh, Hallam Hope, but whatever. Okay, let's get a win here. Can't believe Kitching is starting. Looks shattered. Good to see Raglan starting. Kitching is not shattered. Let's play like favorites. Okay, let's go. Two straight losses for Aldershot. Okay, we've been in great form except for that draw, but let's go out there and get a win. At Aldershot. Let's go. Let's do this. <clears throat> Ollie. Borrow. Okay, good job, Ragland. <clears throat> okay, kitchen with a free kick. Mm, that was a terrible free kick. Easy retrieval for uh, the keeper, Van Stappershaw. Goal kick. Raglan back to Langley. To Sharon. He's playing it right back today. Glover. Oh, Glover almost lost it. Lang Raglan. Sharon. Back to Raglan. To Lundstrom. Oh, good long pass to Glover. Kagame, oh, how did you not score, dude? It's going to be a goal kick. Let's go, guys. Free kick, Shelton. We never score from those. Here we go, goal kick. Okay, um, 
Kitching is done. Let's put Dickinson. Shelton. Okay. Goal kick. Let's get fired up before the other half here. Not good. Okay. Okay. I think this worked. Okay. Dallas looks this hard. That's not good. Sharon, Raglan, Lundstrom, Dickinson, excellent, excellent, Green, All right, Ollie with the uh, throw in. Jones. No God. Jones. No God. Uh oh. Okay. Good job. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. Oh, no. I gotta calm this team down now. Damn it. Let's make some changes here. Raglan is out too, so let's put in Sutton. All right, come on now. Dickinson. Shelton. Lundstrom. Oh, Diego Devon. To cook. Holy fuck. Hobson. Dickinson. Okay, Dickinson. Make, make your run. Cross it. There you go. Glover, not quite. Here we go. No cross. O'Keefe. No, no. Let's go. Oh. We're running out of time here. Harry's. Okay, let's go. Get that ball glover. No. <clears throat> Too far out. Dickinson. Shelton. Let's go. Glover. Go. Get it. Oh, bro. Come on. Jones. Nice. Dickinson. Shelton. Lundstrom. Glover. Almost tied it. No. Oof. Come on, y'all.
You don't want to switch them. I don't think I can. Oh, come on, 10 minutes left. Shit. Dickinson. Hobson Lundstrom. Dickinson. Devon Green. Yes, we got to tie this now. Kagami. Yes, sir. Collins Kagami with his second goal of the season. Fantastic. Sir. Low first touch. Look at Kagami. Just gets it in there. All right. Yeah, can we get the win? Corner, Dickinson. Oh, almost, almost score there. Go to, go to save. Five minutes of added time. Okay. That's it. All right. Well, it's a game we probably should have lost. Well, we pulled it off, so not too bad. Okay, let's continue. Not seen a once we dominate from start to finish. The place was rocking from that late equalizer. Decent result. Okay. I still think we should have won it. Okay, so we're going to end this episode here. Let's just do the press conference. Let's look at the stats, the standings first. We've got, okay, we played uh, 38 games, so we've got eight matches to go, and we're sitting 10 points clear of Gateshead. We're sitting uh, eight points clear of Woking, so we're kind of solidly in the playoffs, but we've got Halifax at home. That'll be the, excuse me, away, and that'll be in seven days. So that'll be in the next episode. So let's go to uh, the press conference, and then we'll end it here. Let's attend that. Let's answer the questions. Dropping points really opens the door for Rochdale, who play their match later than you. You will surely be watching and hoping someone can do you a favor. I'm confident my in my team to push on and put this disappointment behind us. What everybody else gets up to is their business. Colin Kagamas was outstanding. I'm really happy for him. Proof positive. 20 young players out there that hard work on the training round really does pay off. All of them have scored a high proportion of their goals in late stages. Uh, some teams wind down. We turn up the tempo. All right. All right, so that's going to be it for... Uh, for this episode, episode 21, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And until the next episode, this is Kevin, and this has been the Veterans Gaming Podcast.